There we go. Welcome, uh, Periscope viewers. Hey, guys. Yeah, this is Michelle. How are you doing, Michelle? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up to you guys for questions just a little bit. First thing we're going to do is entertainment this week. And welcome to entertainment this week. A few questions. How did you get started in the business? Oh my gosh. Um, well, I was singing at a really young age, but the way I got signed was I was playing guitar at a, a local festival and someone heard me and worked in the music business and offered me a record deal. And the rest is kind of history. How did you get back on tour. I mean, you're going all over the world. You're going to I saw Tokyo yeah. and other places. Well, you know, I haven't played shows in a long time and I was kind of curious uh, how to kind of jump back in. And I guess the only way to do it is with two feet and just talk to everyone who works for me. And I was like, let's go to Japan. I haven't been there in a while. And let's start getting tour dates back in the book. So hopefully by the end of the year, I will have a US tour. What about winning a Grammy Award? How was that? <laughs> That's a funny story because I missed it. I was in a car, there was a really bad snowstorm that year in New York and it was part of the pre-telecast. And I was in my car stuck in traffic. They were sending cars around, uh, like all the car services that were dropping all the artists off. And my car got lost and stuck in traffic. And all of a sudden all my phone started ringing and all these people called and said, Congratulations, you just won a Grammy. And I was like, I did? <laughs> so I was in the car and I missed it and it showed up in the mail. Like three months later. Hey, you also worked with shows like Buffy, yeah. One Tree Hill. How did you get involved with that? And what, did you, what was your capacity with that? Well, for instance, like One Tree Hill, um, Joe DeVola, who works with the show, he's a huge music guy and he had heard music before it was released and he was like, I really want you on the show. So that's how that happened. And Buffy, a similar situation. Joss is a friend of my old guitar players and knew he was playing in the band and invited me on. And it was such a kind of surreal moment for me because it was my first record. It was before anything had really blown up. And to be on set and see all the different right. characters is really incredible. Awesome. Let me look yeah. real quick. Let me just yeah. make sure that we're still good here. <laughs> uh, yeah, people are commenting. Great, great. Okay. Um, next question I have here. What was it like, and most people don't know this, to be on Hell's Kitchen? Oh, I didn't eat the whole night. You're the first person to ask me about this. Oh, okay. I was on Hell's Kitchen and they shut the kitchen down <laughs> and we were starving. And it was a TV shoot. It lasted hours and we just kept like asking for a refill of the bread basket and they kept pouring wine and I think we were all like properly drunk by the end of the shoot but had not had dinner. Well, let me ask you this. What is your favorite meal to make at home? Oh my gosh, my favorite meal to make at home. That's a good question. Um, depends on who I'm cooking for. I love just like a roasted chicken and roasted vegetables, but I cook really often. My backup plan, because no one ever expects musicians to actually make a living, um, I was going to go to pastry school and be a pastry chef. So I cook a lot in my house. Um, and yeah, just having friends over and opening a bottle of wine and grilling on the weekends is one of my favorite things. So if we were to open up your iPod right now, what would be on it? Oh gosh, I listen to a lot of like rock music, uh -huh. alternative rock. I love Tame Impala, I love um, Jack White. Um, I really, I'm a, I'm a rock fan. Yeah. Greatest influences? Biggest influences, the Beatles and Led Zeppelin, Tom Petty. Talk, and lastly, I want to talk about your new album. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I've been spending the last like year and a half writing a new record, and I'm just about to go in the studio and record it. And it's, People ask if it's going to be country or pop, and it's definitely going to be pop rock. Like it's going to be more like the first album. Um, and I'm hoping it'll be out in like February. Awesome. Real quick, uh, yeah. we're just going to flip it around. Uh, Periscope <laughs> viewers, we're going to ask two questions, and then we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, flip it around if it will work. And uh, there we go. Well, anyways, there we go. Oh, okay. there we go. Yeah. You guys, hi. say hi to Michelle. Uh, ask <laughs> questions here. Anything? Uh, Please ask away. Make sure we know we're not. Uh... Go ahead, guys. Ask questions. If you don't have any questions, uh, check out the replay. We might have some Wi-Fi issues okay. here too. So thank you so much for being You're on here. Welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And I, you love my scarf, huh? I do. <laughs> cool. Thank I you. I really do.